Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama From Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some Christmas farmhouse decor ideas. Hello for coming back for another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some Dollar Tree Christmas decor ideas that are more on the farmhouse style of decorating. And just know that these are just an idea for you. You can always tweak these to fit your decor style. And I hope you guys do enjoy them. They're really fun to make. So be sure to give them a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new because I'd love to inspire and motivate you to unleash your creativity on a budget. So let's go ahead and get started with these cute farmhouse Christmas DIYs. For this DIY, you will need a wood wreath, wooden letters, as well as a white glitter, white paint, and red paint, greenery ties, an ornament of choice, some florals of choice, and some pine cones. I start by just painting my letters white and um, Dollar Tree does carry these at certain stores. If you can't find them, Walmart does have them for about 97 cents as well. Then I started outlining just the edge of it in red and I realized I wanted it to sparkle a little bit more so I'm just adding the white glitter to the wet white paint. And You can do this to your discretion, um, feel free to do more or not. They should look like this when you're all done. Next, take your um, wired foliage and start wrapping that around your wooden wreath and you can connect them as you would like. And once I got to the very top, I took an extra one and kind of looped it. That way that would be the hook to hang on the doorway or on the wall, wherever you're going to take it. Then take your uh, ornament and hook that through, securing it and it should look like this. Now you will just go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the back of your letters and add, stick those on to your wreath how you would like. I decided to have them come up from the bottom and work my way up the wreath on each side. It's your choice here. And then I wanted to add a little bit more foliage to it so I added the pine cones and then I also added these little silvery flowers in on certain spots and I really love the way this all came together. You could of course add any ornament you want hanging from the middle of it, but I think this was super easy and I think it's very Christmassy and just has that full farmhouse vibe to it. For this DIY, I'm using this cute gift bag with the Bingham check on the edge and then I'm using a floral tie and then this cute uh, farmhouse sign, some Mod Podge and some scissors. You're just going to start by cutting down the sides of the bag. I know it's a gorgeous bag to destroy, but I promise you we're going to do more things with it later on. Then I just um, measure out where I'm going to have this and I decided to do it on the angle on each corner. And then you'll cut up the middle of it as well. Just um, the Bingham check is going to be our edge uh, piece to this to make it feel a little bit more on the Christmas side here. Go ahead and spread your Mod Podge down the frame and then add your um, basically your ribbon onto it. And then I just folded my um, greenery into basically a bow and then I added a little bit of hot glue there and glued that down. And then I added just this little sprig of um, silver balls to it that came from the pine cones that I used earlier. This was super easy, but I really love the way it just dresses up this and this would make a perfect gift as well. And you can of course add any type of ribbon or gift bag wrapping around the edge of the frame as well. This next one you're going to want the wooden um, plaques and then just a snowflake. And here I'm taking more of that Bingham check uh, bag and I'm placing it on the um, kind of doing every opposite one, so doing black and red and then red on red on the snowflake, just adding a little bit of glue. You could also Mod Podge this down, but to keep it quick for me, I did the glue gun on this and then I added a big piece of it in the center and then added the snowflake. This is super easy. You could do this with any type of ribbon or trim that you were looking for as well. I just love the way the Bingham check looks on the snowflake. This next one, you're going to want the wooden tree, tissue paper, Mod Podge, and a brush. I'm using this tissue paper that I used for one of my fall DIYs. If you haven't seen it, it was my last one I just posted. You're going to cover your entire tree with the Mod Podge and then uh, go ahead and press down your tissue paper onto the tree. And this is a really easy way to dress up any type of um, wooden decor piece that you may have. You can use whatever type of tissue paper if you have. Then I just took these little berries and added these to the top of the tree because I didn't like how plain it looked. And I think it was just the added perfect touch. You could also add some wording to it. My original plan for this did not turn out so this was a great alternative. 
Now let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I have so many fun and creative DIYs planned for this holiday season as well as some fun decorating videos for you guys coming in the next few weeks. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.